What's going on, these gents? Dustin Holmes here. And we finally got a moon calf, man. It took me a while to wait. It's waited for a while. I was like, ah, oh, that last video, like, that was too long. So, finally got one. Got a couple, honestly. Let's try it right now. Oh, no, you don't. Let me know you <laughs> It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Uh -uh. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm. Uh, what exactly did you think of? Oh, oh no, wait. You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. A sanctuary? Meet you inside when you're ready. That's dope. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Hang on. Actually, perhaps another time. Manage peace. the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts indeed i only hope we'll have enough space for all of them deke hopes so too but if you do run out of room madam peck at brood and peck in hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them any beasts that the room can't hold yes she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need and she'll give you a fair price for them Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Puffskin hair. Wonderful. 
no, 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 no. Oh, darn it. Right now. I need to do that. Ah, uh, how to get Malk out. Okay, cool. Where's the other beast? And it's feather for the uh... Revelio. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now.
Oh, nice. You upgrade. Wait, over here. Get the mask. Alright, straight to it too? Okay. Uh, new traits. Ooh, uh, scorching. That came out nicely. I should show Deke. I used the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beast you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. Benches. Benches. Let's go to the main ground. Yeah, let's go to the main one. Cause I gotta beat this game, dude. What heck is that? So let's just do Shout of States, which is over. World map, go world map. Dang! Well, good thing I. <laughs> good thing I did this in way in advance. When I was on video, I got all that stuff. Off videos, those five show spots, so I didn't be too long to do it. One less human to worry about. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. This one, let's go. Okay, uh, I'll keep this one. Guard the video suck. <laughs> Get 
points. Off on another adventure, are we? Yep. Can bring You made it. All right, Sebastian, what are we doing? Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there, Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them, possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which uh -huh. is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on. I'll take you to my uncle's. Sister, okay. This way. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out of sight. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. Okay, let's go. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel Fix cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. Wow. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be worse. Now look what you've done. I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. I'm right there. I'm watching, like, uh, hey, uh, what was this? I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. You Poor you. Sebastian. Not the visit he doped for. You know what? I'll speak to her. Honestly, I would not do that, though. Hell no. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts. And often, suddenly, it's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met during a rather lively duel in defense against the dark arts. Oh, dear Professor Hecate. She's a powerful witch. And she knows how to keep students like my brother and me in line. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. 
between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home. It's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. I can try. I'll do my best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. Oh, good for her. Where's the uncle? This potion is my potion kit, not yours. Leave my things be and. Rebellion! Ooh, is that. Oh, oh. I the mask. <laughs> That boy will fray my last nerve. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. I was about to check on Anne. Did I see you come from the house? How is she? She's all right. She said she was going to rest. Nothing can be done for her. I'm so sorry. Sure, there's something. It something. could be that you've not yet discovered the cure. Ah, you sound like Sebastian, thinking you know better than the healers at St. Mungo's. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalists' way. Hope this could be good for her. I understand. I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. If you really want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you remember what I've said. Good day. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Wow. Why uh, will she not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first-hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. He was out of line. He was trying to do what's right. He was kind of out of line. I'll admit, I wasn't expecting him to be so angry. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Yeah, let me investigate. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. 
This way. How much longer are we expected to dig through this rubble? Ramrock knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. Arrest the rest of Seems quiet. Too quiet, if you ask me. Um, what is she? You oh, wait. Oh, no, 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 hold on. Okay. Uh... No, I need the Expelliarmus. Is that the one that serves him? Yeah. Go, go. 
Since before you were born. Was that your best? That was meant for me. Kill spells glance off of me. Not that one. I confess, that was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. Revelio. So I go like this though? I don't like how it looks though, but... Mm. I'll pick you with that. Okay. Help it. Hang on. Whoa, hold on. Get this, but then let's see how the outfit looks. So. Rebellion. Rebellion. Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelled smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, oh an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. Ladies and gents, um... When we're in Goblins, I just remember, like, dude, I watched Goblin Slayer a couple of days ago, and, like, oh, I hope it's like those kind of goblins, dude. Oh my gosh, they are bad. <laughs> we're trying to hide something. They kill for no reason. 
It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My thoughts exactly. It may be grasping at billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The Loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They seem to have set up camp here for Rebellion. a specific reason. They have stations for everything. Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Always armed and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Revelio. I've heard that goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. It might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Well? This well looks familiar. Sebastian! I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Revelio. Oh, that vision. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library? I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. They call themselves they Keepers because, because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the Vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. And now you've been witnessing memories left by Keepers. Yep. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Oh, I'm gonna take a break here. There's 39 minutes to it, so please if you'd like, comment, subscribe. Someone piled this, this here for a reason. And yeah, that's how we're gonna say peace out, gents.